Good day, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. And welcome to my studio for another fixer upper. I'm, I'm actually mixing my resin right now, and it's a little bit cool in the studio, so it's taking a little while. And look how murky it is. Just looks like <laughs> it, I might have to just go and sort of sit in the sun a little bit and mix it in there, and I'll be back. Just give me a second, it won't take long. Okay, I'm back. Let's start all over. So I've mixed my resin, because I had to mix it like crazy, there's so many bubbles in there and it's really hard to see whether it's mixed or not, but I'm pretty sure it's all done. So um, let's get on with what I'm doing. So I've got, uh, this was an acrylic pour from a long long time ago um, <clears throat> and I wanted to just add a little bit of white here and just clear and turn it into like a like a water scene like an ocean scene and I've got some just some uh, molds underneath there to catch um, any drips hopefully and over here I've got some um, this is resin and this was just you know leftover resin that I had and I didn't want to waste it so I just put it on there and kind of spread it around so um, I want to do something with this one so I'm going to leave this one for now and start on this one and um, I am getting a little bit nervous because I'm planning on moving at the end of the year or early next year so I, I need to clear some of my you know paintings um, and uh, I've got so many of them so I'm, I'm just putting whatever I can um, in the shop in the online shop and just trying to um, clear as much as possible I want to actually take these out yeah so everything oh, the price is going to be slashed by a lot you know I just want them to go to a good home and uh, less work for me packing all of it can you imagine the studio is absolutely packed with um, with paintings with pigments you know stock all kinds of things it, it's just gonna be a nightmare so I'm trying to really, oops, there's a drip, quickly, fix that up, there we go, it's a bit better, it doesn't matter anyway, but you know, okay, so colours to use on this one, I want to use some of this um, brightest orange, it doesn't get used a lot, in fact, I think I've only used it maybe once, um, recycled sticks because that's resin it's all dried and it's clean but i'm using the other side anyway so i'm going to have a little bit of this orange i think i've got like too much resin here this is what i do i really overdo it i'm just going to pour some back in here because i don't need a lot whoa come on be nice to me okay all right this is going to be for the red that's okay so here we go 10%, you can put anywhere from like 1% to even 15% um, to make it nice and, and thick, but you don't have to. These are quite, you know, strongly pigmented um, pigments. So look at that. It's gorgeous. Orange is such a pretty color, but you know, it's, it's just what you do with it. So... Let's see if I manage to do something good this time <laughs> with it. That's so pretty. Very pretty. Okay, so that's done. And now we're going to go with this gorgeous ruby red. It's in the store as well. Very pretty. This one will turn a little bit kind of pinky. It's not like the sassy red, which stays... Whoa, that's a bit too much. What am I doing? Um, sassy red stays 
you know, stays red. It's just such a such a pretty colour, but this is pretty as well. And these pigments, look at that. They're nice and thick, so it's good value. I've seen some online, um, and I've seen, you know, some videos where people use these um, epoxy pigments, and they're just so loose. They're, like, um, really, really thin. It's hard to to manage them, you know. These are nice and thick, and they last a long time. So here we go. Beautiful ruby red. Like I said, it's a bit cool in here, so everything's taking a bit longer to mix. Otherwise, you know, if you've been using Lares pigments, you'll you'll know that they mix in a couple of swirls, three, four swirls, and and it's mixed done. Okay, so this is really pretty now. Probably could have even gone a little bit deeper, but that's okay. And I'm gonna have a little bit of this molten silver. Take the cap off. And uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna put the molten silver in here. Pop it in first. Oh my gosh, just a tiny little bit. It'll take over, so I just want a little bit in there. Don't uh, make a mistake and put too much. It's um, It'll take over everything. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I don't want to use too much of my clear because I'm going to need it for, for the other painting. And this one mixes beautifully as well. Look at that. And I even think that's too much. But I'm going to try and not put all of it on the actual painting so if you guys um, who are watching are not part of my Facebook group please join us it is a really beautiful place and I know there's a lot of groups out there um, but it just feels like family to me and to a lot of us there um, we do discuss a lot of things um, a really nice blue going in this one is um, quite transparent. So I'm putting a little bit extra in there. So yeah, Fluid Art Community with Susanna Danks. That's me. Join us. If you're not in the group, please join us. Also, anybody following Lares products, there is a page. Lares Expressions uh, Facebook page. Um, it would be really great if you could just uh, pop in, like and share if you like. Or uh, just put a comment in there and uh, share your artwork. If you're using Lares pigments, you know, even if you're just using one or two in your artwork, I'm happy, you know, to display your artwork in 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 the Lares um, expressions page. So feel free, put in a comment. That all of that stuff helps, you know. Um, as you most of you know, I'm a uh, one person kind of show in in this business I do get um, helpers every now and then which really helps <laughs> but um, I don't have a lot of time to advertise so sharing liking the page and putting like some really nice feedback there would uh, would really really help okay Let's go. I'm not going to put anything here. I'm just going to go with it. I've got these pipettes. You can also buy them in the shop. And I might just start with some kind of a interesting design here. Let's see. What to do, what to do. Let's start maybe with the red. Oh, it's so thick. It's very hard to suck it up this mother. Come on. You can do it. Problem with these is if you get too much air in there, it'll you'll get a night like a blob. But that's all right. Let's see how I go with it. See what I can do here. There goes that blob. Might just do like a little painting style. I don't know. Let's see. See what happens. Never know. Just checking them to make sure that. Um, you're still on because yesterday I did uh, 
a video and he just stopped recording and there I was talking and explaining and uh, it stopped recording so you don't get to see those kind of things that that um, happen in that the video but most of it ended up um, on the film which is good okay so I feel like a uh, bit of a florally thing coming up here let's just leave that red for a second place you down here what's gonna happen here I don't know actually might just go with the orange right in the middle because it's nice and thick it's not moving as much and I don't have any clear around here to help it move so um, the more I add the more will it will move see like that orange now is merging in with with the red but um, that's all good this blue I'm just going to try and create like a little bit of a barrier here like a bit of a break or oh bugger me now I did it that's all right it's all good I'm just playing guys I don't know what's going to happen with this one and probably this is what I do I start off doing something I'm going to do a nice flower just playing and you can do that you can even use a brush I enjoy I enjoy doing stuff like this I can't wait for my grandchildren and my beautiful little Riker that's my grandson he's over seven months he's seven and a half months old now and I have a little baby granddaughter um, Charlie she's only a month and a bit gorgeous little thing I can't wait for them to be old enough that uh, I can do stuff like this with them of course I'd start with acrylic pouring first because resin is toxic as we know and I wouldn't I don't even have my my pets in here you know it's uh, even up I have uh, a little mascot who lives in this in this studio my little uh, bearded dragon but he gets to go out when I do do these I mean you've got to be responsible and if you you know if you want to breathe in this stuff then you go ahead and do it but be be careful with with you know kids and, and animals who don't really have a say you know they can't really tell you or they don't really know actually can't tell you because they don't know they just um, follow you okay let's just do a little and some accent here so you can see that this this silver just getting kind of coming in contact with with that uh, epoxy paste uh, it just uh, already starts to to create really cool cool stuff right there don't know if I should probably put you right in the middle so you can see better hold on okay so I've moved my other painting out of the way, way so I can do this and you can see better and I'll zoom it in when I'm editing oh this is so much fun and so relaxing might even put some around here just right in the middle it'll move but that's okay and so I might just go now with a little bit of that blue could use a pipette but I think I'm, I'm managing okay with with the stick oops there goes a drop shouldn't speak should I I jinxed myself just now But that's cool because you can always go over a little bit. Oops, come on. 
Oh, bugger. Too much. That one looks a little bit sloppy. I'll have to fix it. So what I'll do is I'll just go around again with that silver. No problem. Silver, see how it's thinner? Easier to manage. I don't know if I'm going to use the heat gun. Just thinking out loud. Um, I, I just asked myself a question in my head. Are you going to use a heat gun? And then I answered, I don't know if I'm going to use it. <laughs> Oh dear, losing my marbles here. Okay, this is looking really interesting, guys. Like from, oh, now I dirtied it. I gotta clean it. I want pink in my silver. Okay, cool. All right, might might go in there now with the orange. See, there's not a lot of movement. That's because I don't have um, a nice slippery kind of. Oh, that's too much. Bugger. Okay, I left it nice and kind of dry, so there's not a lot of movement there which is what I want because I want a little bit of control I really love that um, a beautiful blue with with the um, that's a new blue it's not in the shop yet but uh, it's, it's going to be in the shop soon I'm also working on some really really pretty metallics um, they are not just gorgeous, they, they just create all kinds of, um, interesting effects uh, with your, with your artwork when mixed, when, you know, merging in like this with each other or with just a matte, uh, pigment paste. So I'm excited about that, but it's taken a little while and I'm making sure that I spend enough time doing some creative work because I need it you know okay, turn it that way so really liking that I think I need a little bit more of this blue um, and that silver let's try oh see that's it when you suck in that air it's a bugger and I don't want a blob now I've done it again. Jeez, come on. Okay, it's really weird. Nothing's coming in. Looks like it is, but it's not. Here we go. Now I've got it. Come on. Okay, there we are. And I want a little bit more in here because that blue mixed in with the the orange kind of turns into a bit of a green. Now, a bit more here. I could probably use a few more different colors. I've got enough. I'll just create some interesting effects in here. Definitely um, more controlled with a pipette. When I stop talking, I'm actually not breathing even. <laughs> this is some, um, you know, detailed work here. And I forget to breathe. So these circles, they're going to move. That's 
pretty cool one. I like that drop down. I might even put one here. Put a few drops everywhere. See what happens. You never, never know if you don't have a go, is what I say. You have to have a go yourself. Okay, now I uh, might just uh, do the silver just around around the what used to look like a flower and now it doesn't anymore. But let's see. Let's go. Go in here. Gonna use the pipette after all. Okay, here we go. Come on. With the pipette, just kind of let it start coming out, and then you slowly just move in and let that pigment drag. See, I'm not touching the just letting it drag nicely. It's doing its own thing. Ooh. You don't you don't have to have a real steady hand, it doesn't matter. It's all gonna change anyway. I just like it. I don't even think I'm gonna use my heat gun. Just gonna let it do its own thing. Oh, you bugger, why? Be nice to me, come on. Too much air. Come on. Here we go. Here we go, now we're going. That's that done. Wow, this is really exciting. I want some more of that red around here. I'm just gonna go around and just might just go around with it first and then tidy up. I might just speed up this process because I don't really know what else to talk about. <laughs> I should go live so we can uh, have a chat. I should do that.
Okay, so that looks quite interesting. Uh, you have to agree with me on that one. I'm gonna need a little bit of a, a torch just to um, bust those bubbles. A lot of them there. So if this was a prettier design, I would probably leave it as it is, but it's not. So I'm going to add some nice um, other, you know, things to it just to zhuzh it up a little bit. So I need a little bit more, actually, more silver. What I'm doing is I'm just dropping in, just uh, putting drops in these um, little circles here, just to create a little bit of a something, I don't even know, I'm doing something to it. That should be enough explanation, something, it's better than nothing. This one's going to need a bigger blob. So that's going to spread nicely. Just go in with the middle here. That's spreading it beautifully. Oops, I missed the middle. More of that silver. I could mix. Um, some more colors in here. Just add a little bit more of this clear in here. Oh, you bugger. What a mess I'm making. Look at that. Don't waste that gorgeousness. Get it back in there. Do I be careful with this silver? It takes over, but I can't help myself. It's just so interesting. Okay, some more of this blue just around here. And here. Wow, this is looking really, really interesting. I'm gonna just turn it around the other way, like that. Put a bit, a bit there. Let's try and tilt this a little bit. Actually, a little bit more silver in here. Oops. Just want it to drag it like that. But it doesn't want to do it, so I'll leave it. It's moving slowly, which is good. 
I don't mind that at all. So just a little tilt and stretching these. And I think I will use some. I tell you what, I really love that. That's really cool. I think I might do one just kind of like that. All right. I like that. Like this. I will give it a little bit of heat just in the middle. Don't want to touch that. I really love that. So, and then I'm just going to go around and tidy the edges. And that's that, my friends, for this one. Take my little attachment off, and here we go. Low Because I've heated it up, oh, cells, 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 cells. Because I've heated it up, it's just uh, loosened it down, and it's it's moving now like like crazy. And I don't want it to. What is happening to my canvas? Ah, uh, I know what's happening. Too much heat. Oh no, bugger! Look at that. I shouldn't have heated it. I should have just left it. What happened was there was already resin on there from before and when I started heating it just um, kind of um, created a bulge on here and like a dent in this part here because it's moved oh so disappointing shouldn't have done it so a board will be definitely better for this this kind of design I really like this really like it so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go like this Oh, see, that's so wet. Too wet. Just doing that. Just breaking that silver. Because it's kind of sitting on top, which is what this silver does. But this is, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I've got some cells there, cells there, cells there. But I didn't really want the cells. And it doesn't really matter now. But um, it's, it's happened here. The orange and the, the blue just made this really nice green every now and then that you can see popping. Uh, the silver's kind of sitting on top. And um, yeah, it's, it's really, really pretty. Really pretty. I'm trying to create some more cells now. Just a shame. Just a shame because it's just pulling in like crazy now. Oh well, there you go. What can you do? What can you do? So anyway, I'm going to go around now and tidy up the edges because I want them to be nice and pretty and I want them to look like they belong to this painting and not looking ugly. And then I will take some photos and um, and show you guys. Just I wish I could just have it sitting like this. I need to prop it with something, and that'll do that trick. See if I can do it just like this. Make it sit in the middle instead of trying to go in there and create all kinds of trouble for me. All right, so I'm going to stop this video now and take some shots and, and show you and then show you some when it's um, all done. Back at this one here. Um, it has moved and it's such a shame. It still looks pretty cool, but um, it's a shame that it's moved so much. But Oh, here you go. It's moving back. Might be able to 
kind of restore it a little bit. Bibi, why are you in here? Okay, so just want to kind of lift it up a bit more. Pop these underneath it. Actually, lift it on this little thing. There we go. Trying to help it. I don't want to um, torch it now. Well, I will torch it, but I don't want to um, put the heat gun on it because it'll loosen it up again and it'll just go crazy on me again. So I don't want that to happen. But I will put some more sticks under here to hopefully contain it there and uh, I can still add some color here but I've got plenty left and I've got plenty of um, my resin left too overdone it today I think still pretty loose so it's still good it's got this nice red I might just add a little bit of red here this is what you do you can go back and forth and do add things make it look nice Make it look the way you want it to look, you know. You don't have to um you don't have to just be happy with with what you got. Go back, fix it. While the resin's still, you know, fairly tacky, you can uh, heat it up a little bit and then add add stuff to it. Like I'm doing now. I'm just adding, you know. This is why resin is so awesome because you can't really make a mistake. I mean, even if, if, if you don't like it, you can always do something over it. Paint it, keep, keep going around and fixing things. And I did not even waste any resin in here except for having these leftovers. I've got a little bit of white and I was just wondering if I should just add it actually got a bit more of that blue left put some of that blue right in the middle just like that Ooh, there it goes and I've got some of that silver that I can just pop a tiny little bit right in the middle like that Some more of that blue here. Might even have some more of that blue. Um, should I? Shouldn't I? Let's do it. Gotta be very careful now. Not to muck it up. it's a little bit thick it's easier to control I remember when I was doing traditional art I would go back so many times and just adding more to it adding more to it you know you can't really do that with resin You've only got a, a little window that you can get in there and, and fix things. So you try to do your best. See, this definitely needs a bit here. I mean, you can see it kind of sitting on top. That's all right. Bibi, why are you in here? 
Sorry, got to get rid of my dog. Okay, back now. Alrighto. So we've got that blue there. Might even put a little bit of that blue over here. I hope my head's not in the way. And I don't know if I want to put... Oh, well, let's, let's do it. needs something and that's this silver and that blue look really amazing together so let's just dress it up a little bit And I'm going to leave it alone. Actually, no, I won't. <laughs> I can't leave it alone. That would be absolutely impossible for me. But I love doing this sort of stuff. Just got to give it a little bit of heat to pop the bubbles. I've got a few of them there. Yep, you saw it. There's a bit of burnage there, but no damage. So it's good. Go get rid of that. This is very interesting. I've got a little bit of white. And I'm, oh my gosh, look at that. That's a bit crazy there. Got a bit of white. Don't know if I want to. Let me just see, I'm just going to test it over here, in this corner here. Just testing it there. <clears throat> Trying to get this attachment off. Sometimes it's hard. Okay, let's go low speed. Yep, that looks cool. Okay, that's how I do things. I test it in the corner, and if it's not working, then that can all get off the side there. This here looking pretty cool already. This here needs a little bit. A bit here. Yeah, maybe even a little bit over here, like I say. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of glue to it because that looks pretty cool I don't want to damage that so I'm just doing it over here a little bit Wow, that's really, really cool there. See, when I, um, it needs, it needs something there now. Um, when, it's, because it's already, you know, I've been working on this for well over an hour. Um, so I'm being very careful with my torch or with my heat gun. This is why I just heat it up just to loosen it and go to the another area and just keep going around that. That will still be a little bit loose so you can go back and hit it. This is gorgeous just here. This is a small piece but there's, it's got so much character and so many things happen in there that um, yeah, it's just pretty unreal. Um, <clears throat> got to do something about this area here. Um, yeah, let's see. A little bit of more of this silver. And a bit more of that white. And I'm going to 
just add a tiny little bit of clear just to help it. Sorry it's taken so long and I hope I'm still recording. Yes, good. Just gotta be careful here. Okay, so that's enough now. Oh. Wow, this is so exciting. I love I love creating like this. This is just a way for me to create and I feel like I'm on fire. <clears throat> it's just look at that. Little bits, you know, little parts where you can see some really crazy awesome stuff happening. I'm actually even gonna go in the middle with, with this because I think it just um it just looks amazing with this white so I've got to be careful here now pull away while that's waiting I'm going to add a little bit more white over here this the white is just um really doing some nice stuff to it and I'm just trying to scrape up stuff off the off the you know table just little bits of a um, couple of drips that I dripped and just you know do something with it so that's nice and loose now Oops, that one's gone <coughs> Let's go. Okay, and some more white over here. And if I could grab a tiny little bit, I don't really have any more of this um, red. Just a drop of blue will do it. Yes. And maybe even a tiny little bit of that silver like that oops more than a tiny little bit and now let's go that way over this way I want it to fall back this way all right I, I, I reckon I could probably even go around a bit more just maybe add a little dot of white in each one of these little eyes ah that didn't work try now Kind of brighten it set up a little bit. So I could keep playing with this, I could keep doing all kinds of things to it, but I won't except for this bit here because um, it needs a little bit of uh, excitement there, and I don't want to start burning the rest. Fun. So that 
that's what it needed. Just needed a little bit of something. And add that there. All right, so Inanna, that's um, that's it for me. Every now and then, every time I say that's it, I see something that I have to fix. So, so it's all good. Let's hope um, this stays as is. I think it will now because it's it's been quite a while and it's you know it's getting a bit hard and I don't want to play with it anymore so that's it I'll take some photos that's for sure and show you guys bye for now